Hey guys, Dabu7. I want to share with you here some information that I have received from two different individuals with unique backgrounds. As this information comes together, it literally starts to paint a pretty crazy picture that I want to share with you here. I want to start off here with a bit of information that was sent in to me by a subscriber by the name of Mohammed that does have a Muslim background and was responding to me in the video I, I put out on Dabu 777 in regards to Saudi Arabia and Iran and some of the history there with the Dajjal and some of the beliefs that they have in terms of Yeshua, Jesus. Well, he sent me this information in regards to this area in Damascus, of all places. This area here called the Minaret of Jesus. Now, it goes on to state that he descends to this area, moves on toward Israel, where he will defeat the Dajjal. In his personal opinion here, coming from his background, he states that he believes that this Dajjal Antichrist will be Jewish. This is interesting, coming from that background in terms of the Dajjal, the Antichrist, possibly Jewish. So this brings me to the next bit of information that was sent in from someone that is Jewish in Israel that tells me that the Zionist control inside of Israel has hijacked them. They do not represent the true Jews that live there. They do not hold the Sabbath. We're talking about Netanyahu and, and the Zionist. This is coming from a Jew from the streets of Israel. He sends me this information pertaining to the banknote that they just put out, this 100 banknote that you can see here, the shekel, I believe they call it. And what he discovered is that there is a face. So he reached out to these individuals. He asked, who is this that you guys put on the money? The response that he got back is that it was not a face, that it's just watermarks. So I want you to make note that if this thing is on the mill being printed out, this image is clear. It's a clear image of a person's face. They knew it when they created it, and they cut it. Every bill is cut right down the middle of it. So you have to put them together and connect the edges. And do you see this? Do you see this? This is what is hidden in plain sight on their money. Looks like someone with a bit of maybe a Jewish background to me. And as he was stating when he sent this, it almost seemed if, if something was on the forehead, and he was concerned about one of the eyes. Now, if this was painting the picture of someone with a Jewish background missing an eye, this would match the depiction of the one-eyed Dajjal. Now, there's going to be all kinds of speculation of who is who. I've heard all the talk throughout the years that Obama was the Antichrist. And then there's all the signs now pointing to this person or that, that person, Kushner, and, and everything we've talked about there. But you have to think about the entity here that they're going to claim as a Messiah. I don't see that as being Kushner. I see it as somebody stepping onto the world stage kind of out of nowhere. And from what I see here, they're expecting or they're, they're giving honor in plain sight from what I can see to this image, whoever this may be. Some are going to say Matreo. And there's going to be a lots of, of comments and opinions on this. Okay, I get it. Please respect one another. You're talking information coming from two unique backgrounds that have reached out to me, and together it paints this picture of what they believe is the Dajjal on the money. The question is, who is it really? Because they say it's just watermarks. The fact is, it's there. And if there's ever been a face or an image of a person that I've ever seen on any money, that's it. One that's hidden, that's it. Very very interesting image hidden that they want to deny. And Abraham that sent me this has some more information, believe it or not, pertaining to 
a site near the U.S. Embassy in Israel that he thinks they may attack. That's for a whole other video, but I wanted to get this together and get it out there and ask the question, who is this? Who is this the face of? Like I said, please respect one another's opinions because we're in this together. It's us collectively working on this where we're going to get answers. But first-hand account from an individual that picked this apart, went through all the details, even found the building in the background that they're using on the banknote with the windows, the door, everything. He, I mean, he squared it down to the bricks, the etching of the bricks, and where this image sits, well, it's obviously not a part of the brick, the brick layer. He went into detail, and he's right. This image is there. He wanted me to get it out there. It's been some time. I've been sitting on this. So I guess now, to the time was right, to this other bit of information came into me, and it just kind of, it come together like, wow. There's somebody there, and with the speculation of their Jewish Messiah being the Dajjal. Well, well. Let's not forget you have multiple characters on this world scene. The false prophet, this Dajjal Antichrist figure. Some say the Pope could serve as the false prophet. But I'm here to tell you that there's always more there than meets the eye. And it's my belief that half these individuals out here are posing as fake Christians, fake Muslims, and fake Jews, and they worship the fallen ones. This is why Israel is pushing for the Golan. The next step between the Golan and Damascus is Mount Hermon, where they landed. Regardless, do not fight over who you think this is. Let's try to get to the, bo the bottom of this in a positive manner. And like I said, regardless, there is an image there of a face of a man hidden on their money. Very interesting, pretty crazy if you ask me. And when you look into the roots and the connections of everything going on here on the world stage, don't fall into the division. That's what they work for. These same, same masters of deception have been behind all these staged events, creating the boogeyman, funding of both sides of world war. They're going to push for this one world religion. To my belief. They're setting the stage for it. And when this happens, they will have a figurehead. And as far as these individuals are concerned that are expecting this Messiah that is not Jesus because they killed him and they don't believe he's the Messiah, you see? So who is their Messiah? You have got to ask yourself that question. If it's not going to be Jesus, if, you're, if I just showed you the Muslim writings, they believe Jesus, the son of Mary, is the one that's coming back to defeat the Dajjal, then who is this character? It's aligning to be, from what I can see, very much a possibility that this individual of a Jewish background, this one-eyed Dajjal, it may not even have one eye, literally in a sense. Maybe because of the mark on his forehead. Because of what he's going to represent. And what I know for sure, after looking at this for weeks now, is that it is there. And the question will remain, who is it? And I, after Abraham, Abraham uh, reached out to them and got denied and basically was told it's just watermarks. There's no face there. That it was a, It's just a part of the image that was on there. And all that, that's when he knew it, there was more to it. And look at, look at who's sending this information my way. Okay, this is from two different backgrounds. A Muslim background and a Jewish background. Together, it paints the picture that this individual here on this currency could be that one. It's going to go against anyone's belief out there that has already got it locked in their head that Trump or Putin or whoever is the Antichrist. But I think that this 
one individual that's going to step onto the world stage is going to be here in more of a religious, spiritual sense than politically. It, he may tie into it politically, but this is going to be someone seen as the Messiah. You see? So it's going to have religious ties into it, period. And you have to ask yourself in the end, if these individuals, the Zionists in control right now in Israel, and this is coming from the mouths of the Jews in the streets that said that they're sellouts, they don't hold the Sabbath, they're fakes. If they're putting this on the currency, who is it? This is Dabu7, and this is Kaluminati.